In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to set up a self-hosted version of N8N. I'll set it up in a few clicks using Railway, which is a cloud infrastructure hosting platform that allows you to quickly deploy apps like N8N in just a few clicks. It provides a ton of value and it only costs a few dollars per month. Railway's plans start at $5 per month and then you pay for usage if you exceed the limits. I'll also cover some of the differences between N8N's cloud plan and the self-hosted version. To get started, you just create an account on Railway. I've already got an account and I have a few services up and running. This is my main N8N instance, and this is what it looks like when it's set up. The best part about Railway is I can also host custom apps that I've built myself, like this page scraper which I use frequently inside of my N8N tools. Once you've got an account set up, you just hit new in the top right there, and then you're going to see the new project menu. Then you're just gonna hit deploy from a template. Then you'll see a bunch of options for templates that you can deploy. If you don't see N8N popping up, you can just type it into the search and then you'll see some options here. This is the one I'm using. It has the most downloads. It's called N8N with workers and it's by Jack. So just click on that one, then you'll see this deployment screen, which has the primary N8N instance, workers, Redis, and Postgres. These are all the services that you'll need to self-host N8N. You can mess with the configurations, but you don't actually need to. You can just hit deploy and it'll set it up for you. Now it's busy deploying my N8N instance. I can see that everything is initializing and it only takes a minute to get it up and running. Now everything is live and successfully deployed. It took 29 seconds to get it up and running. Then I'm gonna click on the primary N8N instance right here. Then the side menu will open up and I can see the URL where my N8N instance lives. Then I just need to click on this right here. And now all I need to do is create an account for this N8N instance. I just need to provide an email, a first name, a last name, a password, and then hit next. And now I have a self-hosted N8N instance set up and ready to go. The first time you open N8N, you'll get this message to get paid features for free forever. And all you need to do is enter your email to receive a license key. I definitely recommend doing this because you'll get workflow history, advanced debugging, execution and search tagging, and folders. All of these features improve your N8N experience and they'll make your life easier. Now I can start building with N8N. It's easy to create a workflow. For example, I can create an agent really quickly. I just select AI agent. By default, it uses the chat. Then I give it a chat model, which is like its brain. I can give it memory so that it can remember our chat. And I can even connect it to tools like MCP servers. And then I can start chatting with my AI agent. To get things working, you need to create credentials, which I'll cover in future videos. This video is just how to set up N8N. Then I can go back to the main menu and I can see the new workflow that I just created. Going back into Railway, you can actually give your N8N instance a nicer domain name if you want to. For example, I have my N8N instance hosted at app.aiseoacademy.co. To give it a custom domain, you just go into the primary instance and you go into settings. Scroll down to networking and click on custom domain. Then you type in the domain that you want to use and select a port. Then you click add domain. And then it's going to give you a C name to add to your DNS records. So all you need to do is go into your DNS provider, add this C name, and then you can access your instance from your custom domain. So that's all there is to it. It's really easy to set up. It only costs a few dollars per month. And over the course of this video, I set up an N8N instance in just a few minutes. If you're not interested in self-hosting N8N, you can just pay for the cloud plan. Here's a few differences between the paid plan and the self-hosted plan. For the starter plan, it's currently 24 euros per month. You get 2.5K workflow executions and five active workflows. One of the big benefits is you do get unlimited users. On the self-hosted plan, you get unlimited executions and you can have as many active workflows as you want. The only difference is you'll pay for usage if you're using your N8N a lot. I've been using my Railway account a lot lately. I'm still on the hobby plan paying $5 per month. And in my billing history, I pretty much paid $5 per month, sometimes $8. The most I've ever paid was $12.22. And you do need to pay for external services like OpenAI. So you need to put in your API key 
and you pay for that separately, but you're going to be paying for external APIs, whether you're on the self-hosted plan or the cloud plan. Even then, it still only cost me a few cents to run automations. With an API key, I can generate thousands of words and it only cost me a few cents. That's it for this video. It really is that easy to set up your own self-hosted version of N8N. There are plenty of other hosting services that you can use other than Railway. Railway is just the platform that I prefer using. At the end of the day, all that matters is that you get N8N up and running without having to touch any code so that you can start automating right away. In future videos, I'll show you how to set up your N8N credentials for different tools like Google Drive, Google Docs, and OpenAI. Then I'll get into building and customizing N8N workflows, which is also really easy to do once you get the hang of it. See you in the next one.